Listen to this package. Okay. Uh, a little dicey here. What's going on guys? So if you clicked on this video, you're one of three people. Either you're looking at Swappa for the first time and want to see if it's legit or not. Two, you're looking for a cheap iPhone and Swappa came up. Or three, you're just scrolling on YouTube and this is the video you found. So I found a sponsor for you. Nobody. Swappa was founded in 2010, and that's the only historical fact you're going to get from me. It's similar to eBay, just think of it as a buy it now only. So the seller has the ability to show you photos before you buy it, list it at a certain tier or ranking. So you have new, mint, good, or fair. This iPhone 13 Pro in the box is under the good tier. So it's the one right above fair. So we're about to see what it looks like. And I'll actually show you guys the listing of the photos. So hopefully what we see in the photos here are going to be similar to what I have in front of me here today. Now, my advice is when it comes to buying a used smartphone, you really want to try and see if you can get a used flagship device because used flagships are typically going to be your best option, especially when it comes to the iPhone department, just because of software updates, enhancements, features, and stuff like that it's really going to be a good buy for you at the certain price point. So if you're wondering what this iPhone 13 Pro is, it's my personal one. I'm just doing it for comparison purposes. It's in graphite, so I have the same color, hopefully. And yeah, let's go ahead and get with the unboxing. So let's go ahead and uh, slice this open. This came from New York. I believe it's from like an actual company that does like used or refurbished phones. Listen to this package. Uh, a little dicey here. So we got that nice old USPS. So the, this is the packaging here. So it's nice that we still get the USB uh, adapter. Oh, this actually feels really nice. Mm, this is actually a Chinese USB-A adapter. Um, some are made in India, which is interesting. We get a USB-A adapter, which honestly looks like Apple, which is nice. And then we just got this envelope that has our iPhone. Um, honestly, I would say in terms of the packaging, it's really well packed. And for $450, what do we get? I would say this is actually not that bad of a buy. But let's look at what the other side looks like. Pristine. All right, let me get a microfiber cloth real quick. <laughs> All right, let's just do a quick power on, see what it looks like. Hopefully they juiced it up before. It's not coming on at all. Usually it'll show like the low battery icon. So slightly concerning, to be honest. Uh, this thing just might be dead, dead. Maybe it was just sitting in their warehouse for, you know, however many days. Um, see if I can get myself a lightning adapter. All right, so I just plugged it in. Hopefully an Apple logo or something shows up. All right, so we do have the low battery icon. Um, so that is a good sign that, you know, it's just dead. Um, but yeah, looking at my own iPhone 13 Pro, everything looks to be pretty similar. I don't believe there is a screen protector on here. If it is, it is very, very thin. So looking at my list in here, it says that it's an 8 out of 10 condition, 5 star rating, free shipping. The item is in good condition. Expect small amounts of wear in form of scratches, minor dents or black markings on the housing and bezel. All purchases, blah, blah, blah. Any damage caused by the user is not covered by warranty, blah, 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 blah. Pretty much that first line is all that I really need to know. So looking at the back and the cameras, this does seem to look like an original iPhone 13 Pro. It doesn't look like some type of fake scam. Um, even in the lighting, like, come on. Can we can we talk about Apple for a second? I'm just kidding. Um, but yeah, so far, everything looks pretty legit. Uh, looking on the left-hand side, we have that good old SIM card tray. Uh, moving on to the other side, we have that 5G antenna band. And, you know, this is stainless steel, so it's going to get those fingerprints. And then on the bottom here, the speaker grills. All right, so it's been about five minutes since I've put this thing in and uh, it's still dead. So whoever shipped this from New York, it was very, very dead. Swap of people, please let the phone be charged a little bit before you ship it out um, because I wanna get into my device, come on, please. At least let it be on like 1% at the least. 
All right, so while this is powering on, let me talk a little bit about why I chose an iPhone 13 Pro versus like a 15 Pro or a used 14 Pro. Um, first things first is whenever Apple releases a new iPhone Pro model, they get rid of the previous model altogether. So the only thing you can buy right now is the 15 Pro new. The, oh, that actually just showed up. Uh, the 14 Pro, 13 Pro, all the other Pros are kind of just gone out of thin air. The only way to get them is through the refurbished site directly from Apple, if you want to get it from Apple, and it is very expensive. Like the iPhone 12 Pro is almost like $700. Another place I like to shop a lot is Facebook Marketplace, but I don't do Facebook Marketplace when it comes to smart devices, or I have to be very, very careful, especially with iPhones, because you can get a new device everything looks good and then it turns out it's still iCloud locked or someone stole the phone they're selling it to you for a cheap price and then turns out the phone is already carrier locked or it's can't be connected to any network so that's why I kind of veered off of Facebook Marketplace but with Swappa they guarantee that it's a clean IMEI um, no iCloud has been linked so by the time you get it it's completely clean I can see the photos and whatnot um, and for $485, I would say it's really hard to find an iPhone Pro model at this price point. So I'm in the phone. Let's look at the language that I'm going to get today. Of course, something that I can't read, but let's go ahead and uh, get this on. So I'm in the United States, default. Everything is looking snappy, set up without another device. Face ID. Um, that's the other thing when you buy from like Facebook Marketplace and all these other sites. There is a chance that it was repaired from like a third party and Face ID might not work. Um, so yeah, wow. All you have to do is one scan on Face ID. I love that. It's been a while since I've been on iPhone. It's been almost a year. Um, I'm going to have my year of not being on the iPhone coming out soon. But yeah. All right. So the setup process is done. As you can see, I'm in the phone. Shout out to the king. It's his birthday today. Um, so let's go ahead and just check out the battery before I start hopping, skipping around. 100% battery. Swappa for 485 for an iPhone 13 Pro. And this is one of my favorite phones. Like this is still like one of my personal devices that I love by Apple. Um, God, this is, this is nice. This is nice. You're impressing me. You are genuinely impressing me. Like, let's check out the camera real quick. Let's go ahead and make this a 16 by nine. Macro mode is already turned off. Beautiful. Let's just get a quick selfie here. All right, so this is the portrait shot. Um, to be honest, I guess I'm used to Android now in terms of the photos. And I actually don't like the way iPhone photos look, at least when it's like right off the rip. Uh, it looks okay. It doesn't look spectacular in terms of the detail, it's all there, but honestly looks like a bit of a green casting hue. Looks a little bit different on camera, definitely looks a lot more vibrant. Um, but if I were to go to this one, you can see that it just darkens it. But if I were to hold it down and go to live mode, it looks much better. I don't know why Apple does that, but yeah. So uh, nice that I can also do this again. I forgot to do that. If I can just click on this, oh my God. It's been so long since I've been on iPhone. There we go. I can copy that, do what I want. Um, so yeah, so let's go ahead and do a quick video. We'll turn on that 4K and let's use the front facing camera. So this is the front facing camera on the iPhone 13 Pro. You guys let me know how the camera sounds, the microphone sounds, how the camera looks. Um, when it comes to video quality, listen, iPhone is king. This is the front facing camera, by the way. Um, so you guys let me know how it looks and sounds. I'm also recording in 4K 30. So uh, yeah, should be pretty good quality. I expect the back cameras to be just as good, if not better. All right, so this is the back camera on the iPhone 13 Pro. You guys let me know how it looks and sounds. Uh, not, I don't think I'm weak by any means, but holding my arm all the way out and holding this phone, it does get tiring pretty quick. So uh, you guys let me know how it looks and sounds, and then we can go do some other testing. Hopefully this phone is fast charging as well. All right, so let's open up the SIM card tray. Hopefully the SIM card tray is clean. It says no SIM available immediately. That's what we like to see. Oh, they left a SIM card in here. This is definitely not mine. I don't know whose SIM card this is, but uh, yeah. Or this is definitely mine. This is definitely mine. There was a SIM card in there. All right, so now I'm going to put an, an active SIM in here and see what happens. And uh, SOS goes away, T-Mobile, cellular. I go to cellular, roaming's off, but I guarantee you I can turn on 5G. 
Let me turn off the Wi-Fi here. 5G, boom, just like that. I should be getting a UC connection. It varies from time to time, but uh, yeah, let me see if I can make a quick phone call. Uh, just like that, as you can see, nobody is calling. So that works as intended. Uh, let me go ahead and send a quick text message. Hello, today's sponsor is nobody. And I should receive a text. Hello, today's sponsor is nobody. So, uh, SIM works, phone works. I'm actually impressed that, that my battery's at 100%. They must have replaced the battery right before they gave it to me or something. Regardless, this is impressive. And they also said that it is up to date. It's actually not up to date, but to be honest, if it's on iOS 17, I'd say that's pretty up to date, which it is. Um, so overall, like I said, 128 gigabytes of storage, that's I think what I need. Um, if you like to save stuff locally, you can. Um, but overall, genuinely impressed. Genuinely impressed. I guess the final thing I have to do is install YouTube and see how the speakers sound. But to be honest, I can probably get away with just using the Fitness Pro app. So let's do a quick speed test just to see, you know, maybe the Wi-Fi card got changed. Highly doubt it, but you know, we just gotta check all of our boxes, dot our I's, cross our T's, and I mean, that is my internet speeds. I mean, I'm not paying for this. I'm paying for 200, 200. So the fact that I'm getting 300, cherry on top. Um, uploads should be slightly higher. Oh. Oh, it's a it's actually a lot lower. Well, hey, good enough for me. I'm paying for 200, 200. And they give me more. Uh, what a time to be alive in America, right? All right, so let's check out YouTube. Let's just do the usual 4K walking, 4K walking video. Microphone works. Uh, let's walk through room. Actually, nah, 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 nah. I know a good iPhone display when I see one, and to be honest, I see it. People are going to complain about this, but to be honest, I never zoom out my video, so it never bothers me. Um, but overall, I've got to say, for this price, I'm not going to steer people away from Apple Refurbished Store, um, but Swappa, if it is available to you, I would give them a try. They even have a 30-day um, return policy, I believe, on like all their listers, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but for less than 500, just under $500, I would say this is better than like 90%, not even 90, I would say 100% of the devices that Apple is selling brand new and used on their own site. Um, once again, I think used flagship phones are the way to go. Yes, you can get mid-range phones. Yes, you can get budget phones. Um, but for the price you're paying for, if you have the option to get like a year or two old flagship, Trust me, you are in good hands. Um, so overall, really happy with my purchase. Um, I believe this is going to be my backup device. Um, so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I can answer any equipment, equipment. I can answer any questions down in the comments below. If you also shop on Swappa, please share your stories down in the comments below. Be really helpful for anyone researching Swappa and getting, you know, the truth, whether you have a bad experience or good experience, I want you to have it down in the comments below. Appreciate the sponsor, nobody, for letting me say whatever I want. Appreciate every single sub, like, and comment. And as always, guys, much love. Woo! I just got a new iPhone 13 Pro for cheap, and I got to go put on my uh, screen protector as well. I would argue that the one I got that's in the good condition is better than this one. I can't even tell which one's which now. Uh, but yeah.